What's up everyone, today is Monday, July 27th at 8.31 a.m. Gonna do video watch list today. Uh, so for those that don't know, I do a free video watch list every single Monday on YouTube. And then every day or every other day, I do a uh, video watch list for the members. A uh, couple things to make note of is uh, we are going to be releasing the sign-up page for our anniversary event uh, probably later this week. So we'll let you guys know about it. Again, this is a live trading event. It is a virtual event where you get to watch Bow Trade Live. There's going to be presentations from the moderators. Uh, and MIC annual and lifetime members get to attend for free. Um, also, one more thing is, for whatever reason, I don't know what the hell happened, but... Uh, I didn't really sleep last night. I was like tossing and turning for like eight hours. So I don't know what the hell happened. So I'm going to try to trade well. going to try to do my YouTube live and then take a very quick nap just to get my shit together because I'm all over the place this morning. So let's start. ENT. So ENT was a runner from Friday. This was an easy to borrow stock that kind of broke the death line here and then just tanked. On something like this, uh, because it's tanked so much, I want to use kind of the outer lines a little bit. So I see 370s there, and then obviously the four, call it $4 whole number mark. So on something like this, I don't really feel comfortable shorting a red to green break because it's broken down so much. Kind of just wanted to wait and let it pop. If it doesn't pop, I don't take a trade. NTZ, this is another stock that was running on Friday that kind of tanked. Uh, on something like this, what I am looking for is, if you look, you can see some resistance in the twos. And you can see some resistance in like the two tens area. So kind of watching for a bounce towards two, two ten. If we get there, <clears throat> ABUS, this was a double top on Friday. Double topped, went under VWAP and just faded all day. Early pre-market today, it was around $6. So I would love, love, love a push towards, you know, 585 and $6 in the morning. The stock is broken, so I am comfortable shorting pops on it. Hopefully we get a really big pop. Missed uh, something about this stock I personally don't trust. I don't like how it looks weak and then comes back on air. It looks weak and comes back on air. Again, it looks weak, it might come back on air. I don't really wanna touch it. I don't really wanna mess around with it, but in the off chance that it does bounce, I see $9 as a great spot to use. You know, as previous kind of resistance almost. So I don't know, for me, $9 whole dollar mark and it's pretty much an outer line. So we're watching it there. And then, you know, if we get towards 10, I'll add towards 10 as well. But that's it. I mean, I don't really love it. SCKT is the potential hot chick of the day. Uh, don't really know what the hell it's gonna do. All I know is that the top has formed so far pre-market around four. Uh, it's still early, so we might get some chat room pumps coming in, but this is the type of stock that is going to get a lot of attention. So I want my focus to be elsewhere. So that's it guys, and I will see you in the room. Uh, so today's secret word, if you don't know, is I do a secret word at the end of the videos to make sure that everyone watches it. Uh, so today's secret word is gonna be iPhone. So see you guys in the room. If you have any questions, let me know.